Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a Unity WebGL and upload it to GitHub Pages. So that way you can interact with your game through the internet and send a link to your friends so they could also play your game through the internet. All right, so first step, you're going to want to go ahead and locate your Unity project folder or containing directory. Uh, one way you could find that is you could go to your assets inside uh, inside the Unity editor, this assets folder, and then right click on it and then go to show and explore. And then here you can see this is the entirety of my Unity project. Uh, so this is all the contents necessary to uh, let Unity know where everything is. And then you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you have a GitHub repository. So on the left hand side of the screen, this is GitHub desktop. Uh, currently, I have a different repository open, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new repository by clicking this drop down in the upper left hand corner and clicking create new repository. And this one I'm going to call spring 2021. CS31 AS5. All right. Uh, now it's going to say, do you want a description? You don't really need that. Uh, local path, I'm going to do it here. That's completely fine. Uh, it's always nice to have a readme, so I'll just, I'll have a readme created. And then uh, it's going to prompt you for a git ignore down here. And I'd definitely say to use one for Unity. Uh, that will ignore everything that should not be pushed up to uh, GitHub that is usually created within a Unity project. And then license, uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'm going to click create. And uh, from here, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and push publish real quick. So it's officially on the GitHub website. And I'm going to keep the code private. So it's publishing right now. And once it's published, you should be able to go to this repository tab up here and then click on view on GitHub. And that link will take you to the GitHub website where your new repository exists. So this repository has not any it doesn't have your Unity files at the moment. So let's go ahead and get the Unity files into here. So I'm just going to go ahead and move all the contents of this project by copying and going to this repository, uh, which is here on my computer right here. And then I'll paste all those contents. OK, and now that all the files are finished uh, transferring into this new folder, you can see inside the GitHub uh, desktop application that everything is ready to be pushed up to the uh, repository on the website. So uh, before I do that, one thing I like to do is make sure that Unity Hub no longer has an association with that old project. So I'm going to go ahead and remove our old project from this list, and I can add the new one from our new repository directory by going to our new repository directory and, and selecting the folder. So th there's our project again, just in a different folder. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and publish this to uh, GitHub. So I'm just going to say release project and commit to main. Okay, and once that commit is finished processing, then go ahead and push the push to origin button. Now, if you have too many files in here, it may not let you push if the content is greater than a gigabyte. Now, while we wait for it to push, we can start building our project inside Unity. So let's go ahead and open it up again from the new directory that we've specified. 
And now that our project is open, let's go ahead and make sure that our build settings are right by going to File, Build Settings. And inside here, by default, it's saying uh, the platform to be built is PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. So I actually want to build for web, so I'm going to select the WebGL, and I'm going to click Switch Platform. Now this process might take a little while too. Okay, and uh, it looks like switching to this new platform has finished because now I can see the Unity icon is over this other platform. Uh, so the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and add our open scenes to the scenes to build. And there we go, we've added our sample scene, which is the, the current one we're viewing. And uh, before I build, I just need to make sure that there's no errors in my code. So if you have any errors in your code, then uh, there's going to be issues building. So I'm seeing this one here, which is coming from the Unity Standard Assets. Let me see if I just play the game, if it runs fine. Which, it seems that it runs fine, so I'm not going to worry too much about that, that error. So let me go back to the build settings, and I'm going to push build at this point. And... When you push build, it's going to ask you for a certain directory. So I like to create a build folder inside my project, or builds for every build I do. And within this builds folder, uh, you can create a new folder for the specific version of the build that you have, uh, or you can just leave it. You can just put all your builds inside this builds folder. Uh, but sometimes I like to do like alpha and uh, beta. I like to separate my builds so I can refer back to older ones uh, to show the progress. So uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to use this this uh, builds folder as the root folder. And from here, I'll, we'll do select folder, and then. Uh, and then now at this point, Unity is building our project for WebGL, and this may take like five or ten minutes, depending on your computer. Uh, so let let that work, and you can work on other things in the meantime. So now, if I look back on at, uh, GitHub Desktop, it looks like my entire repository is pushed up to the website. Uh, so let's go to our project on the GitHub website and uh, start preparing it for the GitHub Pages build that we're about to do. So I'll click on Repository, View on GitHub, open that up again. Now we can see all, all the content of our project is here. We're going to want to go ahead and go to the settings. And from the settings, you're going to want to click on Pages. And from Pages, you're going to want to specify your current branch or whatever branch has the index.html from your Unity build. Uh, but I, I know it's going to be under main, so I'm going to select main, save uh, as the root folder. And now let's go ahead and check on the status of our build in Unity. All right, and once the build finishes, you should see that uh, you'll see some Windows security alerts uh, where you could just cancel and uh, it will open up the directory where it finished the build. So if I go to this alpha directory, you can see that uh, index.html exists there uh, along with these other uh, folders which are necessary for looking at this project. So uh, actually, I, I didn't mean for the stuff to be in alpha uh, this time. So I just want it to be under builds. So I'm just going to drag those contents and move it there. I'm just going to delete this alpha folder. And then now I'm going to push this build, this WebGL build, to the uh, uh, GitHub repository. So if I go back into GitHub Desktop, you can see here uh, there is some project settings, but uh, there is nothing with the build directory. And the reason why there's nothing with the build directory is because uh, our git ignore is ignoring builds. So let's go ahead and open up our git ignore. Uh, you could do that by going to uh, show show this git this repository in Explorer, 
and look for the dot get ignore file. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this with a uh, notepad, but you can use your preferred text editor. And you can see up at the top, uh, we have specified to ignore any folder directory named builds with a capital or lowercase b. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that line. And we're also going to want to remove this build folder here. So I'm just going to save that file again to get ignore. And now if I go back to GitHub desktop, you should see all the content inside that builds directory. So here it is. Uh, looks perfect. Let's go ahead and make a commit saying release uh, al alpha build for WebGL. And then after I've made that commit, I'm going to push the origin. And then I'm going to look at this repository again on the website. OK, so now on the uh, GitHub website, you should see that the builds directory exists. Uh, so now we just need to um, navigate to this index.html through the GitHub pages which should be enabled because our, we specified to use the main branch and the root directory here. Now that we have our WebGL build inside our builds directory that's pushed to our repository, and our project repository settings has enabled GitHub pages to this main branch, then all we have to do is navigate to this index.html file. And to do that, you're going to want to use this address. So you're going to start with your GitHub username. And then you're going to type .github.io. And then after that, you're going to type in your repository name. And then after that, you're going to specify the builds directory, this directory right here. And then uh, any subdirectories, if you have like alpha, you'd specify the alpha directory here. But for me, I just put the index directly inside builds. So all I have to do is specify index.html from this point. And if I push enter, it should take me directly to that WebGL build that Unity has created. And if you've done everything right, then your web page should open up and load to the game that you've created in Unity. Uh, so for me, I, I had a little bit of issues that I, I had to resolve to uh, make sure this page loads right. But if, if you notice that when you go to this directory, your, your directory that you've assigned for the index.html, if you go there and nothing loads, you just see like the Unity WebGL logos, then uh, maybe you've done something wrong and you should go back to Unity and just rebuild your project and maybe try avoiding uh, moving your build, your build to different folders. Uh, just keep it in one location, push it to GitHub, and then go to the directory. Uh, so that, that worked for me. Uh, also, sometimes when you go to this web directory, it may take a little while to uh, refresh. So uh, you could always try like going into uh, incognito tab or, uh, or into a different browser to uh, try to load the page from scratch. But yeah, there you go. That's how you build a uh, Unity project into GitHub pages as a WebGL.